Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Baba200, and today I just want to go over the uh, trading bot that I created in Microsoft PowerShell. Um, it's been a long time. Uh, a lot of work has gone into this. Almost, let's say, 10,000, 11,000 lines of code, somewhere around that. Um, and I'm going to just give a brief demonstration uh, before the market opens. It's 9:27, and I'm going to show you how it works. Currently, the bot works with Tradeavate. It works with Alpaca, and it also works with TradeStation. So there's other brokers that I know I can plug it in with, but those are the three that I've tested it with so far and today. I'll be demonstrating how Trade of Eight works with the bot uh, and some features of the bot. So I will go ahead and load it. And so the data is based off of uh, Thinkorswim API. And uh oh, I wasn't expecting Firefox to uh, to do that. <laughs> One second. Okay, I'm going to start it now. I had to fix that. Um, and basically, uh, I use Thinkorswim for data right now. Currently working with um, one of the brokers to get data directly from the futures market. That's that's the next step. And let's see here. So it loads, gets its token. So when the bot starts, you can see this is the screen. The total PNL is zero right now. Uh, the market should open at 9.30. The bot won't take a trade until 9.30 a.m. And if we look here, I'll bring the trade of eight screen. And I have it running in demo right now. Um, and I will bring that up in just a second. And it's gone short. The market has opened. And let's take a look here. So the strategy that I use is not really set. Actually, it's gone long, sorry. Uh, it's not really set. Um, you know, I test it here and there, but it, it, this has more been about the functionality of the, the actual bot and just getting the bot to work. So now it's taking a long position and it will set the stop once it reaches a certain percentage point. Uh, you can set the percentage point to whatever it is that you want to be. Um, but I have a dynamic stop, meaning it uh, it's based off of the actual bars rather than uh, a certain stop. So I have a break-even stop that will always set, and I'll have a active dynamic stop that will always be running. So no matter what, profit will be taken. So as you can see, we're in a uh, a position here, um, and the bot's just doing this thing, so I'll focus on the bot. So you can see here, we're looking at uh, moving averages. I have all the moving averages programmed into the bot, um, and it's really detailed. So the, the type of trade we took was a low of day buy. So it said, this is the low of day. We're going to buy it and see what happens. Uh, and I also have a website for a front end. It's very basic, um, but you can see all the data that it's pumping. It's pumping to my site here, and the trades will be down here. So the trade hasn't exited yet. And so I'll just go over some of the data that we can see. We can see the strategy, strategies low of day, buy bottom, experimental. We're trading ESH1. The time is 9.32. Time is 9.32. Uh, here's, okay, so I use the SPY right now is how I take trades. I take trades based off of the SPY, and then I run the orders through the futures account. So if you know what the SPY is, SPY, it's a ticker. It's basically the same thing as ES. Uh, and so the last price, and you have my stop loss, have the order total points that we have so we got 2.75 I also record the top PL and the bottom PL so like 
where we're where we were at the bottom of this trade and the top of this trade. So 162.5 was the top and we're at 125. Uh, volume, range, distance from high of day. And I have my own indicators. I have an SMA distance score. It's my own kind of uh, calculation. And, um, you know, just some different calculations. These are all experimental. Uh, there's nothing special about them. Nothing that I would give out right now because I'm still working on it. But as you can see, we're in this trade. And with this dynamic stop, I believe um, if it was to ever hit around 37.30, it would cut the trade, which would probably be break even. So we'll see what happens here. Um, but this is this is the gist of it. There's a lot of features within the bot. I have voice control on here. You can control it with your voice. Um, sound effects to know like if you're in a profitable position or not. Um, trying to think what else. It's a lot of different stuff. And in strategies. So the strategies are all programmable. I program all my strategies. You can see it exited here. And it hit that point around what I was saying. So that dynamic stop, it doesn't matter. What's going on? We're going to take profit if we have a profitable trade. I also have a very unique feature is uh, it only I have a I have a chop meter kind of feature where if the market is choppy and the, the volume is not where it's supposed to be, it won't take any trades. It'll only take trades if the market is really moving. And I would say that's the best feature of the bot that I've had so far. I haven't seen it in any other applications or anything like that. But um, basically, you know, I have a calculation as to if the market is moving or not. And based upon that calculation, uh, the bot is intelligent enough to know that, oh, the market's not hot. It's choppy, the volume is low, the range is low, we're not going to do anything. Or if it reaches a certain point or a certain threshold, it will join in, right? It will join in. So we'll see if it takes uh, another trade here. And so, yes, the bot is uh, with Trade of 8, it's able to work with Trade of 8. You can see my account here. They'll probably cancel my account. <laughs> um, but I don't know of any bots that work with Trade of 8. And it was just a goal to see if I could get it to work. Um, and I was able to get it to work. I'm not going to say how I was able to get it to work because I don't know if they want that information out there. So I'm not going to put that information out there. I'm not selling anything. Um, uh, I'm not doing anything. This is all just experimental. Um, and oh, so the bot right now, it also has uh, a way. If the market is hot, you see it took one contract. If the market's hot, it'll take two contracts. Um, so basically, if it thinks the market is just okay and, and there's maybe risk involved, it'll only take one. You can set the size to whatever size you want. So if you want to do five when the market's hot and two when it's not, you can do that. That's It's all customizable within the bot. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I have a lot of cool features. Um, and really, they just came over time from just trying to figure out what to do, <laughs> you know. So this is our P&L for the day where we're at right now. Um, so basically break even. Uh, depending on this trade and that's really the bot in a nutshell um, I'm trying to think of the other features to give you guys an update so yeah so I'm pumping data here and you can see we took these two trades uh, this isn't all the way accurate I'm still working on the accuracy of how I capture the data and pull it over as it's a work in progress um, but it will put the time of the trade and the entry and the exit because the, the bot is kind of slow and keeping up with the data pumping the data to a site this is off a little bit so i'm working on that to make this more accurate so if you're viewing my site 
don't take this for what it really is. Um, it's it's still a work in progress, but the data is live, not live, but it's delayed. So the, the I guess that's the best way to say it. the 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 data is delayed. Um, and see, we're here. We're back in this position. The bots in. Now we have a break even stop here. It, it decided to go there. And this is basically, you know, what it does all day. It, it watches and it takes position. Um, what I found the most hardest thing to do in this entirety is like defending the bot from chop. I, I would say I'm like 80% there of defending it from chop and taking choppy trades where it just gets whacked out. No bot is perfect. Nothing. You're not going to. Uh, you're not going to always make money with a bot, but it will be disciplined. It will not over trade. It won't do any of those things that a human trader does. And that's why I created this because I suck at trading. So that's why I made a bot. <laughs> so yeah, so it takes its position. And uh, usually when trades take off, like if there's an event or something like that, the bot does really well. Like if the market is just up and it's just going up, it's uh, it's really good. So that's primarily what I have for this. Um, I hope this was informative to you. Um, if you have any questions, ideas, uh, comments, you can hit me up on Discord. Uh, the name is Baba200. I believe it's in this video somewhere. And um, yeah, that that's, that's what I got. So I'll let it trade here for a second so you guys can see what's going on. And I'll I'll be quiet. Another thing, um, I also have another stop feature where basically based on the P&L, it'll go up, it can trail it, um, it can do all types of different things. But I find the dynamic stop to be the best because even though this is here, it will still stop out uh, if it detects a shift. So it'll just take the money. So that's good or bad. It depends on how you view it, right? If you just want to protect your trade as it advances, then you'll get the best outcome. Because look look at this trade here. Best outcome is probably up here somewhere, but we want to give it room to play out. And it exited right here at the top. Uh, this was the opening trade 9.30. So that was, you know, what it was. Um, but yeah, and I also can program the bot to shut itself off. So if we reach a profit target, this is inaccurate, saying total p and I still don't have all this put together. Um, but if it hits a certain profit target, you can have the bot shut itself off. So if your goal is 300 bucks a day or 100 bucks a day, whatever it is, um, once you hit that, the bot can turn itself off. It can email you a report it can say, hey, I did this. Uh, so we're done for the day. So it's fully customizable, right? You don't have to have it on and just let it take a thousand trades, which is never good. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot of features. And basically the whole point of this is to emulate a trader, you know, to emulate a trader. And that's... uh. That's what's going on. So this position is pretty good. And I believe if it goes below 3731, it should exit out. So it should exit if it, if it doesn't break. It should exit around here, I believe so. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot programmed into this. I can't even go through it. I'll have to make another video another day to really tell you what's under the hood um, because it's a lot it calculates a lot like uh, I'll show you one thing here I know it flashes so it's kind of hard to see but it's watching the bars right and I have a buy zone 
something that I consider it's saying sell so really this is a signal saying they should get out um, but it has high range high volume uh, it, it's a lot of data it's pumping a lot of data it's calculating every single bar um, the SMAs everything uh, so one thing I do want to say is other indicators I know a lot of you guys ask me uh, if it can pump other indicators and it just exited the trade here so you can see that there as I said if it got down to that level it would just get out um, and a lot of you guys want to use certain different types of indicators I have to literally program the entire indicator I have to code it or recreate it uh, within PowerShell so I don't have all the knowledge to make all the different indicators um, but there are some APIs out there that have the indicators and I use those um, and it, the possibilities are there I, I probably have to get with another programmer or a quant or somebody who's really good to to code indicators uh, and to include it in the bot my bot is very simple it has VWAP and moving averages we're not doing anything special here um and yeah so that's the bot in a nutshell as you can see it's taken one two three trades today and p and l's at 87 bucks so that's not bad for a robot <laughs> if robot made you 87 dollars you can go uh have a nice dinner uh based off of that and so this thing will go on all day and um you know you can use as many contracts as you want uh, it's fully scalable and the future of this bot if I do release it to the public or anything of that nature uh, obviously this front end would be a lot better you'd be able to log in and um, basically see your trades uh, you wouldn't have to do anything with code the code would be running in the background and that's that's what it really is but that I really love this front end thing I created I'm not good at front ends it's really basic but it shows the data live well almost live it's delayed <laughs> um, and you get to see so if I'm working I can just look at this uh, dashboard and it tells me everything that's going on so yeah I also have profit time and loss time so I usually time those I don't think I have it activated in here but this is one feature I'm experimenting with just to see what it's like if this trade looks bad um, so it should exit out pretty soon and just cut itself and so that's that's what I got uh, if you guys got any ideas any um, any thoughts anything to share let me know I'm always down to talk I'm down to collaborate um, and yeah just hit me up yeah, it looks like it went short and reversed itself I do have a reverse feature also um, but when I plug in with CME and actually get the data faster and um, I have more aspects to play with the data I think this bot would actually be a lot more sharper um, because I'm going off of SPY data. So that's what it is. So that's all I got for you guys today, Baba200. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit me up. All right.